Tonight, the Korean Peninsula staring down the barrel of a catastrophic conflict. That warning from one of America's leading nuclear scientists, one of two longtime North Korea observers who say Kim Jong-un is sending signals in state media. He may be prepared to take advantage of global chaos to exploit what he sees as weakness and vulnerability between the U.S. and close allies, South Korea and Japan. They're talking about war. They're talking about war preparations for their country. And so we're quite uh, concerned. For years, former Los Alamos director Siegfried Hecker had unparalleled access to North Korea's highly secretive nuclear program, seeing more than almost any American. What he's seeing now, he says, reminiscent of the lead-up to the catastrophic Korean War more than 70 years ago. A chilling shift in leader Kim Jong-un's strategy, far more than the usual saber rattling. I think this time it's different. He may have decided... Uh, that it is time uh, to actually take some actions. For the past 30 years, North Korea's goal was normalizing ties with the U.S. Hecker says that ended in 2019 when summit talks in Hanoi, Vietnam collapsed. Former President Donald Trump and Kim walked out, humiliating and infuriating the North Korean leader, riding his armored private train back to Pyongyang empty-handed perhaps giving up on U.S. diplomacy, making a strategic turn towards conflict. He may believe that there actually there is some way, sort of what one would say, what's a path to victory, that he may be thinking very differently than what our conventional thinking is. Kim's confidence may be bolstered, he says, by closer ties with China and a deepening military alliance with Russia. North Korea's Foreign Minister Chae on hee visiting Moscow just this week, also labeling South Korea a hostile country. This is a political provocation. And not just political. North Korea testing a new hypersonic missile, potentially nuclear capable, adding to Kim's growing arsenal. Experts say that arsenal already poses a significant threat to South Korea, Japan, even Guam, tens of thousands of U.S. troops across the region, along with, of course, all of the U.S. allies as well. Some missiles even believed to be capable of striking the U.S. mainland, experts say. Kim also has the world's fourth largest standing army, well over a million strong, making this, these analysts say, a credible threat. Will Ripley, CNN, Taipei.